am in Emerson's bedroom right now and I am going to be doing a full transformation of this place. I'm going to be turning Emerson's nursery into a Montessori bedroom. Right now my son is 10 months old and we do have some concerns with his crib right now that I will explain later and I've been thinking about maybe even transitioning to a floor bed. When I looked into the whole ordeal, I realized that it's a Montessori practice and recently I have been gravitating towards a lot of Montessori styles. So I'm just gonna go all in with it and do a full Montessori bedroom to the best of my ability. I am in no way a pro at Montessori or anything of that nature. I'm just going to share my experience and what I'm doing with his bedroom. I will be showing a tour of the bedroom before the transformation and then I will show you guys what it is afterwards. And I might throw in some things in between of like while we're doing it. So I'll just jump right in and get started with the before tour and show you guys what his nursery currently looks like. And then once we start the transformation, I will then show you what we end up with at the end of everything in making it more of a Montessori style bedroom. Walking into Emerson's bedroom, this is just the general overview of what it all looks like. I'm gonna get a little bit more detailed though. Starting at the door, we do have his hamper here. And then there's two bookshelves that we've actually placed side by side in place of a dresser. So we actually don't have a dresser for Emerson. To put Emerson's clothes and stuff away, we just use these storage bins inside of the shelves. I've already started to shift my approach of toys and toy rotation into a more of a Montessori style. So this is something that will continue, but the bookshelves are going to go because they're obviously not very safe to just have in here with a baby. I wouldn't want him climbing on them or anything. They're just way too big, so we are going to get rid of the bookshelves. We have the diaper pail in the corner, and then this changing table is actually attached to the crib. While it is convenient to have the changing table right here, I think that is something that will be sacrificed, is having a changing table in his room. A few things about the crib that has caused me to change my mind and maybe consider a floor bed starts here. Emerson has started to stand up on things, and so he will grab this and pull it down. I only noticed that he did it one time, and the moment that he did it, I have started to take the entire pad off and I'll put it on the side like right here whenever he sleeps. So that in itself was a little bit nerve wracking and there's no way to detach this changing table from the crib. So I can't necessarily separate it. Another thing is I do put a lot of objects here that I would probably not like for him to grab if he's in here alone. I'm always in here with him if he's crawling around. But stuff like, I use a lot of stuff on him for eczema, so he's got his shea butter here. Inside of here we have like his steroid cream and just other creams and such. I have my doTERRA oils that I love, love, love to use on him for different things. Copaiba is great for teething and lavender is great for sleep and just calming. But these are just things I don't want him to grab on his own. So these are things that all will go and will probably be placed in the bathroom. Another thing that has started to scare me about his crib is the fact that he is pulling up on it right here. And then when he's doing that and he's a little bit drowsy at night, he'll pull himself up and then fall back. And he has fallen back into this side and smashed himself into the wood part of the crib in the back. And I absolutely hate that. He's already starting to try to climb out of the crib. And I know there's plenty of babies that have climbed out and fallen out of their crib. He's gotten his arms and legs stuck through here and twisted up and I just am not the biggest fan. In my personal opinion, at least for my son, I really don't think that the crib is a great space for him to be right now just because it seems like he's continually hurting himself in it. So the crib and changing table, they are going to go as well. Right now this corner just serves as my nursing area. Even the side table is just stuff that I like to access and I don't let Emerson come over here because of the sharp edges and just all the things on the table that I don't want him to touch. So I just redirect him to toys when we're over here together. I do like to diffuse Serenity in his diffuser at night because it helps him sleep a lot better. But I'm not really sure how I want to approach his diffuser when we transform the room, so we'll find out how that goes. We also have other things over here like his vitamin D. 
I put all this stuff behind the pictures so that you can't see it when you come in, but it is for me to be able to access when I'm breastfeeding him and I need something over here. And then I do have his noise machine on this table as well. The rocking chair, the side table, and even the lamp all things that will probably have to go and we're gonna have to figure out something different. Right now, Emerson is only feeding four times a day and it's only right before sleeping time. So he will feed right before naps and then before bedtime. So I'm not really concerned about needing a chair to be in during nighttime feeds because he doesn't really do that anymore. His closet is pretty basic, but it is huge in there. So we will definitely be using the space in here for things. I'll probably be able to put a little dresser in there so that way I can just have a little extra storage for his clothes. I don't know what we're going to do with this, but I do know that it is something that can be torn down easily. I'll probably keep the pins in place for this. So what I'm thinking about doing is just taking it down for a little while and then putting it back up whenever we'd actually like to use it and actually measure him. So again, that's the full nursery of what it is right now, but a lot of this stuff is going to go and we are going to be doing a full transformation of this room to more Montessori style. Emerson's room the bed is absolutely my favorite part and then his new play area in the corner so I'm gonna go more detailed on this and show you guys every little detail that we did differently in here I did get this new basket from Target and there are just two tiny little stuffed animals in there eventually we'll use this as the stuffed animal basket but I don't want too many in here right now because he's just a little young we do above that have some floating shelves and so these are pretty secure into the wall and there's not really a way that he could get them down but he can still get to his books. The books that I have in here are all board based because he is a little bit young and will eat paper so board books will be safe to have in here for him and I wanted to show my favorite book right now is this one right here it's also a board book but it's really great for sensory touch and every page has some fun little area for the baby to touch and feel so this is one of my favorites that i'll have up and i will rotate books obviously kind of like a toy rotation and there is this level that i don't think he can reach but that way he just has a little extra space for some books here the white floating shelves are just a normal wood shelf that has been painted and you can get this on amazon every single thing for the most part that I'll be talking about in the video, I will link down in the description. So these floating shelves will be in there. I got these frames from Target and they are really secure to the wall, command strip and like every area possible so that you can't even pull this off. I thought it was a really pretty touch of nature and it is important in the Montessori approach to have artwork at the child's eye level so that they can enjoy that as well, something that is natural and not super duper cartoony. Right above these frames I have a small banner that's just cute and I thought it would tie the room in a little bit more. The shelf was also off of Amazon and it's what you would consider an infant shelf where the baby can pull up and then kind of walk from side to side on it and then in each cubby has an activity for him. I found these crates 
in Walmart actually and they are pretty decent sturdy wood so I went ahead and grabbed a couple where I could put some things inside of so this first crate is just some balls and things that he can roll around and play with the second cubby has one of my favorite toys for him and he is in love with this thing there are so many different uses to it and I will also link this down below because it's from Amazon this toy does have a hammer and he loves to use this thing. You can hit the balls down and you can also take this out and play with it alone. It's just a really cool versatile toy and it also helps with color recognition when he puts the balls back into their place. And I cannot for the life of me, there we go. But he absolutely adores this thing. So I'm gonna keep this out as long as it's one of his favorites in his shelf. The next crate in here has some blocks and it's just those Infantino blocks that you can squeeze and they're just kind of like a rubbery feel to it. So these are all in here in another crate. These, like I said, were from Walmart. I just kind of found them in the store and they are really great for a cubby like this because they fit perfectly. And then the other side here is a shape sorter. So this one is a Melissa and Doug and he can eventually get the idea. He honestly just likes to take all the shapes out and then put them in the box. So he hasn't figured out the sorting yet, but eventually that'll be a really good activity for him to grow into. The Montessori approach does encourage toy rotation. And so as I monitor what he does with these toys, I will rotate out the ones that he's not interested in for something else that I have in storage. I kept this canvas in here just because it does kind of go with the vibe and it's just pretty. It's at my eye level. It's not necessarily the artwork that you would put down for the baby, but I figured doing multi-level kind of does look nice in here to tie into the bed. The bed, hands down, is one of my favorite pieces in here and it's actually a custom. So I know some people might want me to link that but it is a custom. There's different ones on Etsy that are similar and that's kind of where I got the inspiration. I am going to link the guy that I used for custom. He is in Colorado Springs if anybody is local and wants to reach out to him. I did have railings put into this bed just so that he doesn't roll out of the bed and then just wake himself up constantly. So they're not very high and it's only to keep him from rolling out of it. Right now I do have these pillows in here that I got from the Target dollar spot, but they are just for decoration. I take them out and will have them stored away for when Emerson's actually sleeping in the bed. And the bed just has a white fitted sheet on it. Emerson sleeps in a sleep suit, so he just wears this and it zips up. So this is technically his blanket, but he's not really old enough to have blankets or pillows or anything else in his bed with him. This little opening serves as his space to get out of his bed if he would like. I am hoping that eventually he can get out of his own bed and then go and play with his toys in the morning. So far, he's only slept in this a couple of times and I'm actually going to create a video that shows the transition and how he did with coming into a Montessori bedroom from a nursery. So once that is up, make sure you guys check that out and you guys are welcome to subscribe so you don't miss it either. I did get this greenery from the Target dollar spot as well, and the lights are going to be linked down below through Amazon. These are actually pretty nice. I got these because at nighttime, I don't like to have this main light on. I like to have more of a mood set, so that way he knows, hey, we're dimmed light and it is time for bedtime soon. These lights are battery pack powered, so it's not a plug, which I love because I don't have to conceal another wire in here. So the battery pack is sealed on here with a command strip that is like supposed to hold 16 pounds. So I think it's good and secure. And then over here, I do have the remote. I take this out at night for now, but when he gets older, he'll be able to use this remote himself if he would like. So when he wakes up, he can kind of turn on or off. So you can just turn it on or off with that remote. So I think that's pretty snazzy. The canvas banner I found also at Walmart. If you can see, his monitor is plugged in right here. The wood backs right into it, so there's no possible way to actually release the plug. But there's also a plug cover on the one that's not being used. And then there is a cable raceway 
that seals the wire itself to the wall so you can't actually take this off at all and then that goes all the way up and to the baby monitor this is something I found on Amazon as well and it will be linked because personally I think it's the best idea possible for getting wires out of the way for babies. Another great find that I did see on Amazon was just this curtain. It's a really cheap find but honestly it blocks out light beautifully and I do have a few tricks to kind of keep light from the sides like this velcro sticker that I actually use to velcro the curtain to the wall. But otherwise, it does do quite a good job at blocking out light. His last curtains touched the ground and they were black. So just putting in this gray that matches the carpet a little bit better, it does make a huge difference in lighting up the room more as far as the mood goes. But it's not long enough where he can grab it right from there and then tug on it. So I like these a lot better. They're a little wrinkly, but one day I might work those out. I just put a couple of things on this floating shelf. The main reason we needed a floating shelf here was for his noise machine. And so you can see that we put another cable raceway down and we also put a an entire block here where he can't actually get into the outlet in general because it, there's nothing like the bed to push it up against the wall so he can't unplug it. So this was a great way, just this cover, to make sure that he can't access it. And that will also be linked with everything from Amazon. So just a nifty little way to make sure that we can still get his noise machine in here, but out of the way. And then coming to his closet, this is one where you can just kind of like pull it open easily. So we had to put one of these on there just for some extra precaution that he can't get in here. There we go. Okay, once it's pulled off, you can actually open it. And this is right at the level that I can reach it, not where he can in any way. Now his clothes are in these plastic drawer bins and I truly like this a lot better. We thought about doing a dresser, but I think it's gonna be better in the future when Emerson wants to pick his own clothes to be able to see what's in there through the clear front of it. And it's a lot easier to just pull out and then push back in. So I really like this idea. On top is a diaper caddy, so we don't have a changing table anymore, but I do have this diaper caddy where I can still have wipes, diapers, his lotion for his eczema that works the best for him. And then a little, it's not a pad, it's more like a cloth that has a plastic lining that I can lay underneath him. So this is just a little handy way to just grab and pull it out here so I can change Emerson on the floor of his bedroom since I will no longer be using a changing table. Next to that caddy, I do have a bin of little toys and I will let him pick his own toy and once he's picked something he can hold this and I will be able to change him a lot easier and that just kind of is a saving grace for me. <laughs> this little dinosaur bin is where I put the clothes that stopped fitting him so I'll just put them in there and then eventually I store them into a bigger bin and on top I have his letter board for when we do his monthly photos and this is actually that Thing that measures him I kept the two little pins that hold it up in the wall because when I want to measure him that way I will put it back on those pins but it just hangs a little too low for him to be able to take it down so we're just keeping it in the closet for now his diaper pail is right in here as well so he can't get into it and then his laundry basket and our big pile of diapers <laughs> And then obviously all of his clothes. Up here we do have some extras like some burp cloths that we never use anymore because he's not really spitting up as much as he used to. And then we have some blankets and just some other odds and ends that are stored up here. Again, we have these outlet covers on all of the outlets. Just a few things to note. In this corner, I eventually would like to have a child wardrobe when he gets a little bit older to encourage him to pick his own clothes and just encourage some more independence. And then in this area, there's nothing really there either. I might have a, a care of self station, which is another Montessori practice that I really enjoy. It's gonna be like a mirror and a little shelf for him to kind of take care of himself in certain ways. But right now he's a little too young, so this is the bare minimum that we have in this room. And I think it came together really nicely. So 
this is the full tour. This is everything in his room and Emerson has been enjoying it so much. So that is the full tour of Emerson's new Montessori bedroom. It is definitely not done by a pro. I'm just very much so drawn to Montessori and it makes most sense for our family. So he's been enjoying it, but I am monitoring him and I will be putting out a video over that and how he transitions to this bedroom. So feel free to subscribe so you don't miss that video. Otherwise, like and comment with any other videos that you might want to see and give us a follow on Instagram if you're interested in seeing what we're doing from day to day. Otherwise, thank you guys so much for being here and for checking out this video. We love you all, and I hope you guys have a blessed day.